Hi, ladies. Are you one of the women that believe that after 40, it is more difficult to get pregnant? Are you struggling with what you're hearing from your doctors and feel like this is an insurmountable task to get pregnant? Hi, my name is Monica Anderson. I'm a life and wellness coach for busy moms who are looking to reclaim their voice, wholeness, and magnetism on their path to sustainable holistic wellness. Today, we're going to discuss how your belief systems matter, how taking short accounts and truly loving and understanding yourself is important in this process, and also how setting realistic expectations is going to help aid in getting in the flow of creating and sustaining a pregnancy. So if you are ready to learn how to get your body in the flow state so it can create and sustain a life, please stay tuned. Why does your belief system matter? How does that come into play in all of this? And we're talking about getting pregnant after 40, but it's also balancing your hormones. If you're looking, if you're somebody who is going through um, different changes in their life and your hormones are out of whack, that also affects your fer fertility and your fertility is a significant sign of your health. So it doesn't really matter if you're trying to get pregnant or not in terms of the information I'm giving you will help all women to create a healthy balanced body. So your belief systems are so important because what you believe is what you create in your life. So how do we make our belief system something that is known to us <laughs> what our belief system is because most of our belief systems if not all of our belief systems came from the first seven years of life as a child um, also in the womb we heard things we were told things and we just believed it um, we had no reason not to. We trusted the people that were telling us they were going through their own journeys and their own discoveries of things and following what they believed. And it isn't something to dwell on in a negative sense, um, but it's just something to be aware of, of what I believe. So you think about if you're trying to get pregnant, you go to over 40 trying to get pregnant. You tend to go to a fertility clinic or talk to your your physician about it. The first things they're going to tell you is, is that it's difficult to get pregnant um, at your age and you're, you may not have enough eggs. And they say all these things, they haven't even done any tests on you. They don't typically know anything about you, um, but they will throw out all these statistics and all these reports. Well, what you want to do is you want to find out well, where are those statistics coming from? Who are the women that they were going by the pool of women. Now, all that makes decision on what they tell you. And a lot of them are just going by old information. They don't know you in particular. They never talk about diet. They never talk about lifestyle. They never talk about um, anything else going on. Um, it's all just based on these statistics. And so you determine that their, where their reports are coming from, look at those and then see if you believe that. Is that true about you? And if it is true about you, um, you had the same lifestyle as the women that they reference, then you can look at those specific things and change them. So you look at a typical American or person that in this world today, over 40, they typically have been eating a lot of processed foods. They've been doing a lot of lifestyle things that do not aid in the body functioning properly. So um, getting pregnant is just a manifestation of a healthy aligned body. So look at your belief systems. I just gave you one kind of example of where that would come to play and determine what you believe. Uh, then um, you want to saturate your mind with um, people who have 
the belief system that align with your vision of having a baby. And this is where I come to my second point, taking short accounts and showing love and understanding for yourself. You need to not dwell on what you've done in the past. Don't dwell on what your family might be saying, uh, people around you. Uh, Really start immersing yourself in some positive feedback and some positive information. There's tons of YouTube videos on women over 40 getting pregnant or women overcoming PCOS or women overcoming the drastic symptoms of uh, menopause. There are tons of videos that are so uplifting and so encouraging and that really benefit, will really benefit you and help you see that you can live a natural holistic lifestyle and it can be luxurious and it can be fun and it can be really uplifting to you, but you have to not dwell on your past and what you, if I would have done this, if I wouldn't have said this, if I wouldn't have gone here, I wish I would have done this after my first miscarriage, or I wish I wouldn't have taken this medication for this long. You can't dwell on that. Uh, When I got pregnant at 43, I did have a miscarriage and I really wasn't anticipating it. And I had not looked at any information about it. Uh, And it was a really difficult period. And I thought about, you know, I was on birth control for a lot of years to regulate my hormones. And I started kind of thinking about that and thinking that that, because a lot of the birth control out there really affects your fertility later on, but I, I didn't dwell on it. I, I gave myself three days to grieve the loss. And I'm not saying that that's, you know, you need more time. We take more time, but that's just what I did. I did three days to, to, you know, cry and, and mourn the loss of this pregnancy and uh, just kind of went over the experience. But then I really went within and meditated on what was going on with me, you know, health wise, uh, what was I eating? What, what minerals, what, what was my body possibly lacking? Why didn't my body sustain this pregnancy? There was a reason for it. It's not just it doesn't just happen in a vacuum. And I started really looking at some things and making some upgrades, a lot of more upgrades. I've been on this health journey for over 10 years. I've been juicing since 1998, but I it was doing the whole yo-yo thing going up and down, up and down. But the biggest thing was, is that I had to get my mindset right. I knew that I was going to have a baby. I always knew it. And so it wasn't a matter of, am I going to get pregnant again? But it was a matter of when, (laughs) when was I going to? And like I said earlier, I gave myself a year uh, for this and I knew that I was going to have a pregnancy and a baby and I wanted to do it naturally. I didn't let my fears get in the way of this. I let my inside feeling take over. And I made sure that every single thing in my life aligned with my vision to have a baby. And if it didn't align with it, and that goes down to, I wouldn't have arguments with my husband. I would just go meditate. Um, I had affirmations that I would say, and I would repeatedly say affirmations because what affirmations do is they are just uh, reprogramming your subconscious. And remember your outward life is a manifestation of your subconscious mind. It's just a fact. Um, So you want to be doing affirmations. You want to not live in your past. You want to love yourself. In my previous videos, I gave you a great meditation that you can do five minutes a day for 30 days and that, and tell yourself that you are love, you are lovable and you are loved. And this is going to create and change your brainwaves and change, uh, what is manifested, uh, from you, whether that's a pregnancy, um, or any kind of a life that you want. So just remember those things. Ladies, don't be hard on yourself. Um, You guys are incredible and you have such incredible 
uh, things to offer and we get in, we get into our own heads and we let other people get into our whole our heads and we let people define who we are and I want you I want to give you the the encouragement that if if this is something that you want you just need to claim it and then you just need to do things to align yourself with that vision Ladies, I want you to leave me a comment below on things that you have tried to upgrade your lifestyle. What are some things in, that have worked for you? And the third thing that I would like to talk about, how do we set realistic expectations? So if you've been living a life where you, let's say you're over 40, you know, I like to say 35 over 35, because that tends to be when people start thinking that uh, it's going to be harder for them. What kind of life have you been living? What kind of food are you eating? What kind of water are you drinking? Uh, what kind of mindset do you have? What is the belief system of people around you? What are you watching? Um, so if you're watching all these horror stories of women that have had struggles getting pregnant, you've had, maybe you've had a couple miscarriages, but you never really looked at yourself Everything that we manifest in our life, in order to manifest it, it comes from within. We don't use the outside world to determine what our lives um, should be. And that is something that um, is, is learned and is understood over time. Um, and that's why I always talk about meditating, because meditation is the key to the magic. To go within and see um, what you believe and then what expectations do you need to set? So some expectations are if you have, if you're using toxic cleaning products in your house, if you are eating a eating fast food, I'm talking regularly. Okay. Cause we all, I'm not judging you at all for doing it. Uh, trust me. I lived years and years of my life unconsciously and not in a way that would, that would benefit creating a life or taking care of a life. So, but you want to set realistic expectations. I think it's a great idea to give yourself, you know, six months to a year to really make, start making those changes. And you can just slowly make those changes. I like to talk about food, um, being a health coach and that's kind of my foundation. I like to change mindset through food because once you change the food you're eating, your mind starts becoming clear and you're able to really see what needs to be done. Your intuition is uh, deeper, it clicks in more, and you're able to really hear yourself and what, what changes you need to make. And you can just make slow changes. So if you're making, if you're eating fast food uh, five days a week, or you're getting a Starbucks five days a week, cut it down to, uh, you know, whatever you think would you could do, because you can do it in small enough increments where it uh, doesn't feel so painful. <laughs> it's not so hard. Uh, so do Starbucks four days a week and then replace that uh, fifth day with like a, get a tea from there. You know, if you're wanting to keep you in your routine, that's really the secret is to, um, you got to replace something that you're doing um, to, you got to replace something that you're doing, uh, with something else that's beneficial and that is in alignment with what you're trying to do. Um, you cannot, it's not a realistic expectation to just say, okay, I want to balance my hormones or I want to get pregnant after 40 and I've been going to Starbucks every day. I've been eating um, candy bars at my break. I've been under tremendous amount of stress. I'm not meditating. Um, I'm running myself ragged at both ends saying yes to everything and never setting up boundaries, but I'm going to stop all of that. Um, you're not, uh, you're not. And then you're going to start feeling bad about yourself. Um, so just start with one thing. Um, and do an upgrade change. So I always change my one thing. So let's say that you're eating at um, uh, fast food. 
So just find a better version. Like I say the next step to fast food is getting your food convenience because you're in a convenience mindset is going to the grocery store and they have food that is um, pre-made, but it's it's slightly a notch up um, can can be from a fast food place. So you're still in the convenience and um, you can feel better about yourself and you can get like, get stuff from the salad bar. You can do all these different things um, to upgrade. So um, it's setting the expectation of working within the life that you have now. Um, and you're slowly transitioning and getting to get yourself in the flow state so that your body can start healing and start relaxing. And I specifically go over um, how to do this in my program, my new beginnings program, which I'll uh, mention again um, in a few minutes. Um, but I just want you to think about this. So setting realistic expectations um, and knowing that you're where you want to go and where you're starting from and how can you how can you really magnify your life in a way that would benefit or would create and sustain a pregnancy um, or as i'm saying uh, balance your hormones um, if you're going through menopause and how to not have symptoms so the same things that you do to create a pregnancy over 40 are the same things that you do if you're trying to balance your hormones if you have pcos if you are going through menopause and having severe symptoms so they're all related. So I want this video to be, um, this information to be for all women. I would love for you guys to visit my uh, website or just send me a comment, just uh, place a comment below or send me a message, an email. There's so many ways to get a hold of me. If you're interested in looking for support, so I would love to hear from you. This is something I'm doing for you. And so I'd love for you to take the opportunity if you're feeling like you would like that extra support or you've been trying to do it on your own um, and you're not you're just feeling overwhelmed because it is overwhelming. I'm here for you. So I look forward to hearing from you ladies. And I really want to help you know that you can live a life full of magnetism, full of joy, and you can have every single thing that you want. You just need to claim it and do the work. And the work is actually incredible and it's totally worth the journey.